Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today is our eighth episode of our golf weekly news show called The Drive. All right, our wraparound season for the PGA Tour has begun, and it started off with a bang with Kevin Tway earning his first PGA Tour victory in a three hole playoff over Brant Snedeker and Ryan Moore. He had to get into this playoff by birdieing his last five holes in regulation. So, congrats to him. He is son of great player Bob Tway who won eight times on the PGA Tour and had that famous win at the PGA Championship over Greg Norman in 1986 when he hit the trap shot and hold it out to win. So he comes from a long line of player, good players in his family. So this also is going to help him in his world rankings. He, he moved up from 138 to 85 and that's going to bode well for him because he'll probably be able to play in some of the World Golf Championship tournaments and that's that's just this kid's great I mean last year he was knocking on the door he hits the ball as long as anybody on tour and he's very accurate so this could be just what he needed to spring him forward and I look for great things out of him this this coming year also all right kind of off the beaten track here but I'm a big Freddie Couples fan he had a great tournament this weekend the winning score was 14 under par and he finished up five under par and he had a tied he tied for 41st, so it looks like his health is better and his back is feeling good. So hopefully that will continue, and I'd love to see him play good in the Masters and feel healthy and not have any health issues. So he, he plays that tournament so well. So hopefully that that's going to be good, good signs for him coming up this year. So moving on, we'll talk about the quote of the day, and I want to I want to talk about this quote after I get through with it and quote goes like this the great thing in this world is not so much where you stand as in what direction you are moving by Oliver Wendell Holmes hey this is important uh, wherever whatever you want to apply this to golf you know what business you know relationships you know we need to have goals we need to be purpose driven and we need to know where we're going and not just standing still and just let things happen by chance because you know there's going to be naysayers when we work at something that we really want to have goals to say it's I want to get a golf scholarship or if I want to play on the PGA Tour you're going to get people out there that that are jealous of you or envious of what you're doing and they're going to be negative and try to bring you down and you got to you got to let that roll off your sleeve and move forward and not let that affect you and in fact get a chip on your shoulder and work even harder towards your goal and the, one of the main things is hanging around some positive people you know, you are who you hang around is the old saying, well, it's true. I, I mean, you need to hang around people that are like-minded, that are positive. You know, you hear on the tour all the time when these young players, they win, they're congratulating and thanking their whole team, not just themselves. They're not just giving them praise. They're very humble. They're thanking their caddy. They're thanking their trainers, their nutritionists, their psychologists their uh, golf coaches, their mom and dad, their gran grandparents. It, there's a whole team of people that goes into the victory, the victories for these, these, these young players. And that's what I'm talking about. They, these are people that are positive role models in their life and we can use that as, as an example of how we should do with our, our things that we set for goals for ourselves. So that's what I want to talk about with that quote. I think it's a great quote. Um, just get some goals and stick to them, all right? My rave today, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, man. This, this is just unbelievable for us golfers and us PGA pros. And I want to talk about Top Golf, the facilities. They have are incredible. They're all over across America. If you haven't been, well, you need to go. Even if you haven't played golf, they have golf clubs there for juniors, ladies, seniors, it doesn't matter. And you can have a blast. It's fun for the whole family. You can eat. They got drinks. They got couches where you can sit down in between shots. And an example of one game, you get 20 balls per player and you can hit five at a time. They have grids out there. I mean, the facility, they have a ground floor, a second floor, and a third floor. And they have these things I call moon craters. They're little circles out there that you hit to. 
and they have bullseyes in them. They have 250 yard targets, a 100 yard target, a 150 yard target, a 185 yard target, and also a target out there where you can hit your woods about 225. And you get points the closer you hit to the bullseye and the further away you get more points. So the more points you get, the better. But it, like I said, it's just fun. I mean, you get to hit the shot. These balls have chips in them and it tells you your ball speed, your head speed, how far it carries, and they're very accurate. The grass is, man, it's almost like real grass. I, I went the first time and I was I was actually kind of negative about it because I didn't want to hit off artificial grass. I've never been a big fan. But boys come a long ways with the technology and how they, they make this artificial grass now. It's almost like the real thing. I have nothing but great things to say about it. I had a blast. I recommend it to everybody. And Man, it's just a breath of fresh air for the game of golf. I mean, it is definitely exploding the game, I think, for new players. Because I, when I'm out in the general public and I'm talking about golf, there's so many people who come up to me that, yeah, I never played golf until I went to Top Golf and I had a blast. I had such a great experience. You know what? They're going to want to go out and go to a golf course, spend money, get golf clubs, get lessons. And that that's just so positive for our game of golf. And uh, it's just fun. So. It's just, I can't recommend it enough. If you haven't gone, go, okay? That's all I wanted to say about Top Golf. All right, my rant today. Wow, I've talked about it in the past. I'm going to talk about it again. I'm going to be more specific on some things. I'm going to talk about slow play. I mean, I'm just sick of it. I mean, people are playing T, T markers and distances they shouldn't be playing from. If they would just move up and play closer and play a shorter hole, they would have more fun. It, it would not be as frustrating and it would move the pace of play a lot faster. So I think our starters and rangers could recommend this to the players when they're out there. I know it's a tricky thing, but I mean, if you're not breaking 85 from where you're shooting, I mean, God, you need to stay up there and move up even four tees and enjoy it. It's more fun that way anyways. It's not fun going out there and shooting 120. You know, I see too many players hit it off a tee marker where they shouldn't be playing. They hit it 50 yards and they're not even past some other tee markers. This is happening way too often and people just need to let go of their ego and, and play closer up. You'll have more fun. It's more enjoyable. You can move faster and then the people behind you are happier. Because it only takes one slow group out there to affect a whole bunch of groups and I, that's my rant. I, I don't like slow play and there's things we could do to and improve that so that, that's what my rant is today all right my product review I mean I've talked about it before I got some blogs and vlogs on this one I can't talk about it enough it's one of my favorite things when I teach people it just just doesn't grow old and I'm talking about the impact bag see here it's got a picture here it says the moment of truth I use that all the time with my juniors and they laugh at me and they think I'm silly but I tell you what, once you got the proper setup and grip and a, 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 a decent backswing, hitting this bag is incredible. It gives you the feel of hitting the ball the way you should hit it. It's just, it's when you hit something solid like this bag, and all I got in it is some towels and, and, and actually just towels, and, it's, and then you hit into it and you feel impact, your positions are good, and then when you try to hit the ball, you try to put yourself in the same position as this impact bag and I tell you what it's a mental thing because there's no result with this yellow bag but the ball we're worried about where the end result is going to be and if we could just get ourselves into hey let's just make this motion I'll, I'll be happy with it but it's a great training aid for amateurs good players it doesn't matter what your ability this is just one of the best training aids there is if you don't have it I'd highly recommend getting it it, it, it will always be handy for your chip and pitch and hitting so it's a good investment it's not that much i mean these these are under 40 bucks i believe i like this particular one the gary wiring because uh, it doesn't tear up it, i've had one for years 10 years when i was given 2500 lessons a, a year and that that thing lasted nine years this one's really good you get your bang for your money with this bag so you can look on uh, barnhillgolf.com. I have actually a great blog and vlog on this on how to use it. Please check us out. Uh, leave me an email and I'd love to hear from you.